Hello and welcome to my very first video. Um, I am going to be working on my classic happy planner today, um, doing the March monthly spread for 2021. And I absolutely love watching all the different planner channels that I have found thus far, but I have a slightly different way that I like to do my planning. Um, and I thought that I would just kind of share and I don't know jump on the bandwagon I guess but um, I use a lot of scrapbook paper Because at heart I am a paper crafter. I do a lot of scrapbooking and um, I make albums and different things and so oftentimes my scrapbook supplies wind up in my planner and I have some um, leftover like scraps from an album I did last year for spring and I was looking at these purples and uh, how it matches my stargazer for this month and I thought that it would be fun to make something so I'm going to um, first of all take some of these and fussy cut them out and then I will come back and we'll kind of decorate so stick around Okay, I'm back and I was able to fussy cut um, several of these flower clusters out and different things. These are, this um, scrapbook paper is from a, uh, a collection that came out in 2019, I believe. It's Bow Bunny and I will look up the name of it. I'm not sure if you can still get it, but you might be able to find it on the second market. And then um, one of the things that I also found was this quote that I think will be super cute um, in the spread. So I will get started putting this all out. So I am gonna try doing a voiceover and we'll see how that goes. Um, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer just music and like maybe some commentary if I, um, if I have something to say or would you prefer like more of a narration? Let me know in, uh, in the comments or over on Instagram, wherever. So what I'm doing right now is just taking the different pieces of the paper that I have fussy cut out of the original sheet of paper. And fussy cutting just means that you're cutting relatively close right around the design that you want um, out of a bigger piece of paper. And one of the tips that I like to use is I like to give myself a little bit of a margin around uh, the design that I'm cutting out. And I try to go for about a quarter or uh, an eighth of an inch. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting that quote on black cardstock, and um, that's a trick that I learned when I was was an M, doing more of like scrapbook album work, in that it makes it really pop. Um, whatever you put on it, putting it on opposite color cardstock makes it just really pop in a very nice way. So. I sometimes will do that on my planner spreads because, you know, why not? But I just love how it looks. So occasionally I'll do that on a few things. I think it's a little bit too much to do on everything, but it's a nice, nice look. So here I'm cutting out um, paper, scrapbook paper for the back of basically making my own colorful boxes. And I like to do that um, because then the box will match. Now you can obviously measure out and I actually have some guides that I've created for myself that I'm not using on this particular spread um, where like I'll print out from my computer like some grayscale boxes and then I can just kind of lay it over and cut to size and then cut the gray box around off and just paste that uh, the pre-cut, pre-measured um, white paper 
onto the box. So it's a little bit easier, but I didn't have it ready in this particular video. And so I'm just doing it the, the hard way with uh, pencils and things. But I really like how that looks. Like it completely matches whatever I have going on in the spread. It's completely customizable by size. And um, as we go along on my video, you'll see that I use a lot of big happy planners. Um, it's my primary, um, my primary everything that I do in my catch-all and my um, work. I actually have multiple businesses, so I have multiple business planners, but I have a, um, just do a lot in the big happy planner size. And one of the things that I've found is that um, if you're depending on happy planner stickers, they just don't really make a lot of stickers or boxes for the big. And I really like the size. I like the box that you use to match the size of the grid in the planner. And I know that you totally don't have to do it that way and you can fill it up with decoration and stuff like that. But for me, I just, I don't know, it's an aesthetic thing that I really like. And so I just kind of taught myself how to make my own boxes this way for my big. And then I liked the coordination power of using the same kind of paper or a very similar color. Um, and so I just kind of, uh, tend to do that in my classic sometimes as well. Not uh, not every time. Sometimes I'll use regular Happy Planner stickers, but you know, it's just fun and if I have the time and uh, am feeling inspired, then I like to whip them out because they're really pretty in my opinion. And I don't know if you guys um, have done a lot of paper crafting or anything, but the AdTech crafters tape that I'm using is um, a really, really good tool. I think that it's one of the best adhesive tapes on the market, and it's also the cheapest, especially on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in doing anything like that, I highly recommend this particular tape um, that I'm using, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below. They're just, if you buy the one applicator and then the refills, it is just um, incredibly inexpensive for the market and all the other um, brands. So anyway, that's my plug, sorry. I'm just very passionate about my craft tape. <laughs> so right now I am very, very heavy on boxes on Saturdays and that's because I have a lot going on on Saturdays. Um, not every Saturday, but there's always something different happening on Saturdays because my work schedule and my husband's work schedule are different. Um, he works every other Saturday, so then I do um, stuff for my businesses on every other Saturday. And the washi tape I pulled out to mark a vacation that we have coming up. We like to try to take a long weekend every like six weeks or so. And so I tend to not use a lot of washi tape. I don't have a lot of washi tape. And, um, but pretty much the only time that I wind up really using washi tape is to um, note my vacations that I have coming up because I like to plan some things. We usually, especially now with the pandemic, we don't even like leave the house, but I like to make it fun and have like, you know, a theme meal or something like that. So anyway, it's something that I have to like really do a lot of planning for. And so I like to make it special in my planner. And then what I'm doing here is just, I don't actually, to be honest with you, I don't actually have anything super going on on these days. I just like to balance out my boxes because it's so heavy on Saturday on the other side that I wanted to get some, um, get some out, get some put out on the other side. 
So the one thing with this craft tape is if you're careful and you don't stick it down too hard, you can peel up the paper and re-center it if you need to, which is very handy. So have you guys ever used scrapbook style paper in your planning? And if you have, how? I would be very interested to know. Um, and yeah, I just love the look of this and the, uh, it just looks so fun. But here we have the black construction paper coming out again to give that lighter background a little pop. Yeah. I just love that. I would not advise going overboard with the black construction paper because less is more, but doing a couple of them in, you know, on a page is it just is so great and it really pops. And if you're hearing um, like creaking behind me, it's one of my cats. I have nine of them and so it is hard for me to do anything without them getting involved. So you're going to be hearing and seeing a lot from them over this channel. <laughs> this is the creative process happening. I have this one piece that I cut out and I don't want to waste it, so where is it going to go? This paper, that's the, uh, the same paper that that Bloom and Grow quote came out of, and this paper is by Graphic 45. Um, the company and uh, it's from the Flutter collection which I absolutely love this paper is just gorgeous I think I have like six or eight sheets of it that I bought because when I find a paper that I love especially that has a lot of quotes on it I just buy as much as I can <laughs> and I use it all the time <laughs> That was just cutting out the little hole, the little punch hole. Because I find that if you just have like one little tiny piece, like it's sometimes easier to just use scissors and, um, and cut it out than to get the whole punch out. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like for right now. Um, I have a few things that are like tentative um, that these boxes represent, and I don't wanna write them in yet, but also I kind of like to just have um, balanced boxes going on. And then as the month goes along, I will um, either pre-cut out some of these kind of boxes, or I will just have this collection of paper available in a drawer next to my planning um, area so that when new things come up, I make new boxes that match these. Um, and so that is how I plan um, quite a bit. Sometimes I use Happy Planner boxes, but sometimes I just like to get really creative with my leftover scrapbook paper and uh, 
and have some fun. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it and I look forward to kind of continuing this. It's actually kind of fun. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.